Monday. Welcome to this week's angel reading and inspiration from the um, angels for the week ahead. My name is Rachel Skolter. I'm just going to move this light back a little bit. And I have already pulled four cards for you because um, the other one went a bit long. So I just thought I'll cut it shorter and just read the cards for you this time. So I pulled two cards from the um, Fairy Tarot, which is a Radley Valentine deck, which are really lovely. And also I use the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, which are an old favourite of mine. Of course, working with um, Archangel Michael is just magical. He's who I work with every single moment um, of my life, pretty much. But in my healing practice and also, you know, in my readings, when I do Skype and phone sessions, Archangel Michael is my right-hand man. He's very... Um, like all angels, he's clear and direct, but um, Archangel Michael somehow is a lot louder than a lot of the um, other angels, for me anyway. And he also, um, you know, he's such a powerful healer. His whole, the whole um, presence, intention of the energy that we call Archangel Michael is to clear fear and lower energies from the planet, from our bodies, our homes, our animals, our loved ones. From everything because fear is our nemesis fear is what we are dealing with all the time and what makes things very difficult um, for us as sensitive energy sensitive beings ourselves and um, you know fear is what captures us and can make us forget who we really are and what it is that we're here to do and why we are um, you know why we meet who we meet and the things that we do so you know Fear interferes with everything. And so Archangel Michael helps me to be a clearer channel because he clears that energy of fear. He is a fierce presence of divine love. And um, his presence alone shifts the energy of fear and anything associated with that. So we, you know, when I talk about fear, I'm talking not just about kind of eh, scared, <laughs> anxiety, but I'm also talking about self-doubt and, um, you know, self-doubt is, is like rust. It corrodes our self-esteem and our, um, our intuition and our connection. Um, skepticism, um, bullying, anger, guilt and shame, they're very heavy energies that stop us from really um, being able to see ourselves and the world as it really is and also um, you know, our connection to the divine, our angels, the universe. So Archangel Michael is a wonderful angel to call on. So let's do that. Let's call on Archangel Michael right now. And I want you to feel his presence, his protection, his ability to lift. You know, if you're um, surrounded by people who are struggling with negativity and anxiety and depression and their own forgetfulness about who they really are and who you really are, um, then Archangel Michael can act as your shield in a way and as a buffer. He can't completely change what's going on, but he'll probably give you guidance as to what you can do or um, should do. But he will shield you with his energy so that you are not taking on, you know, sucking in all of that um, fear energy into your own. Because if you're, um, you know, sensitive, empathic, intuitive in any way, and lots of people are, like it's like the world has become sensitive in the last 10 years and, and the younger people even more so sometimes. That sensitivity is meant to help us, it's not meant to hinder us. And so if you're feeling um, somehow hogtied, you know, like I can't move because I'm under a big layer of icky energy, that's just a sign that you better get in touch with Archangel Michael and start learning how to connect with your true energy and clear that stuff so that you're not carrying everybody else's energy. It's not your job to take everyone else's energy. The angels do that. They take it away. You are supposed to, you can channel, you can be there as a presence of love, you can speak your truth, but you're not supposed to suck it all in and be like a big hoover bag full of, um, of negative energy. That Then you end up feeling low and depressed and anxious too. So it's a really, it's a delicate dance, but it's one that we are, we need to learn. We need to learn how to do this. This is why I teach this stuff because we need 
so many people need to learn how to protect and manage and clear and ground their energy properly. And Archangel Michael is, is one of those beings of light that can truly help you on a deep level to do this. So close your eyes and I'm going to ask for and invite the presence of Archangel Michael to whomever is watching and listening with their permission. You've got to give permission because your free will is everything. And Archangel Michael, thank you for being with us. Thank you for bringing your divine light and shining it on our lives, shining it on our bodies, on our consciousness, on our energy, not only to clear the fog of fear, misunderstanding, confusion that may come within or from outside of ourselves, but also to show us who we really are, our true life purpose and, and what our next steps are. Show us what it is that we need to do and give us, remind us of our power and our courage. Give us the courage to take the steps necessary to live a life that is lit up and full of light and full of love and full of peace and harmony and help us to achieve and um, pursue our life purpose and life's mission. Thank you and amen. So straight away, as soon as I closed my eyes, I could see light shining down. Like you see sometimes coming from the clouds and I can never remember the words, the name of those um, beams of sunlight. Um, that's what I could see in my consciousness, but my face feels really hot. My arms feel really hot, but not in a kind of a, because it's humid, it's a, it's a different kind of heat that comes from Archangel Michael. So that's how you know he's around. If you're sensitive in your body, you'll, you'll notice that. If you're sensitive in your, um, if you're clairvoyant, you might see purple or blue flashes of light. You might see um, a tinge of purple or blue, like a mist. You may um, see light like I did. You may actually see the Archangel Michael inside your consciousness if your clairvoyance is really developed. You might also um, hear his voice he's got a very strong deep voice it reminds me of um james earl jones is that his name the the guy that played that played the voice of darth vader in the star wars movies but he's also he does a lot of a very deep voice um archangel michael has very direct he, he doesn't sort of carry on and, and chatter too much he he just you know do this go here sit down stand up go it's very direct instructional and you don't whilst it's it's um, direct, it's not rude, you don't feel frightened or anything like that, it's comforting. So let's let's go on with the cards, and Archangel Michael's already speaking to me. So the, the, I pulled you four cards, two from the fairies, two from Archangel Michael's deck, and the first card that I want to show you is the Eight of Winter. It's a blue card, which is, you know, one of Archangel Michael's colours, and I'm wearing the purple today. So... On this card, there's this beautiful little fairy, and she's she's standing on a block of ice, which seems to be sort of isolated in a river, or in a lake, or a pond. And she looks uncertain. She's not sure of herself. She seems to be looking for comfort. She's looking over her shoulder. She's trying to decide what it is that she wants from her life. And this is you. This card is saying that you may feel cut off, isolated, unsure about where to go, and Whilst it's good to reach out for assistance, confirmation, affirmation, both from your um, angels, from trusted mentors, therapists, healers, but also and maybe close friends, in the end the decision is up to you. And this this fairy doesn't seem to know where to go, but there's only actually a small gap between where she needs to go. And if she just takes the leap, she'll be able to make that by herself. She doesn't need help. So this is sort of saying, believe in yourself, trust in yourself, trust that your ideas and your, um, your, inner, your inner compass is not off. It knows what to do and where to go. So why are you second guessing yourself? Why are you pushing your ideas away? Why are you assuming that it's all not going to work out? Um, what is it that um, is holding you back? Well, here it's saying a lack of self-confidence and a feeling... Of, of, of not believing in yourself or not believing in your intuition. So there comes a point in all our lives where as, you know, intuitive, 
people, we we recognize when we when we're connecting to spirit, it's more than just wanting to believe in the in, in fairies and angels, you know, it's more than that. It's a recognition of your deep inner power. It's it's refusing to give in to the belief that this this is all there is. You know, you follow the steps, you get the mortgage, you get the job, you get the you know, it's more than just living, working to live or living to work. It's about recognizing there's something greater going on. There's something, there's a guidance that you have your own star to follow, that you're here for a purpose, that there's not just you, that you're surrounded by these beings of light um, who love you and know you and are very wise and are all part of your team. And, you know, so the people that poo-poo what it is that we do and we love don't understand that because it's coming from your power not from your weakness and but when people judge you it can make you feel like a weakness but it isn't so there comes a point in every powerful intuitive empathic gorgeous lovely spiritual person's life that you have to recognize that you in the end are the, are the final authority yes god and the angels but that's part of you that's who you are so you can ask lots of people for your direction, but in the end, you're the one that has to make the decision. You're the one that has to take the steps. You're the one that has to move out or change jobs or go for the job interview. It's you. And so this is firmly putting the power back into, into your hands. Now, the second card is the Nine of Autumn. I really like this card. Look at the harp that she's playing. She's the master of her own destiny. This, this one here, she's feeling a bit, oh, I don't know if I can do it. But this one, she's looking at, the, at you as if to say, look at me, look what I can do. She's got fruit and, and um, harvest all around her, which is showing you that abundance is coming. And everything that you've created and that you've learned and that you've been through and that you've built up in your life is protected. So even if you're thinking, I, I can't leave this situation because what if there's not something as good as what I've got right now? The angels are saying, you've reached this level where you've managed to create this. You're not going to lose that ability to create that just because you're moving to something else. In fact, you're going to a higher level. Get out. I love the harp in this, and I'll tell you why afterwards. She's confident, and it's saying you deserve to be rewarded for the work that you've, that you've done and all of the lessons that you've learned in your life, the hard ones, the hard-earned wisdom. It's time to now turn and transform that energy into something greater. So for all of the times that you felt victimized, stuck, hurt, you've lost everything and you've had to start again, that you, um, you know, people haven't been nice, they've been judgy, they've been rude, they've been cruel, whatever it is. You've, it, what Archangel Michael is saying is that you've learned the lesson as in you've gone, I'm not going to do that again. And I get that it's not me, it's them. And I get that it, but you haven't transformed it into power. So this card is about transforming it into power so that it no longer dra can drag you down, even in the slightest bit. So what do you have to do to transform all of that, good and bad, into your power now? It's the wisdom becoming something that you can you know, almost like a wave that you can ride. So think about that. It's so that then you'll no longer be afraid that you're just going to make another mistake and drop back into that. That's what's holding you back is the fear of making mistakes. Oh, I love this so much. I love how the angels and my own vision and my own, and I'm hearing the angels at the same time, the cards are pieces of cardboard, right? The pieces of cardboard that, you know, if, if these are not spooky items they've got energy in them and they're tools of intention we've put the intention that they help us but they trigger the message they trigger the power that is within the person reading them not they don't hold the power themselves you could just read the words and go okay how does that apply to me and that's useful too but that's not being psychic or intuitive now we've got the archangel michael cards now i love this one so much God is in charge. Look how Archangel Michael is standing next to this person who has got a baby in their arms, but he's got his sword of protection and the sword that chops away all of the negative energy and the fear. Don't let the fear, other people's opinions, other people's energy, all of that icky stuff that we talked about earlier, 
do not let that hold you back. Do not let that um, disempower you, make you feel like you shouldn't believe in yourself. It's time to get out from under that pile, right? God is in charge. All of the stuff that's happened to you is in divine order. Everything that where you are right now is in divine order. So it's as if you're running next to the train, trying to catch up with the train that's running on the track. And you're not sure. But what the angels are showing me is that you jump onto the train and then you remember everything is in divine order. As soon as you remember that, it creates that, if that makes sense. So it's almost like you're trying to put the jigsaw together, but as soon as you say everything is in divine order, the jigsaw magically falls, falls into place. So by thinking that there's a problem, thinking that you're in the wrong place, doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, that you should have, should have, should have done, and you're looking into your past, that's making the jigsaw even messier and, and, and you're losing pieces. That means you're judging yourself and your experience as being wrong. As soon as you say everything's in divine and right order and I'm going to trust that everything is under divine law, it happens. It works. Finally, I love this card for many reasons. It shows Archangel Raphael who's holding the catechus, the symbol of healing. Healing is coming. It's time to pay attention to your physical body and what you're putting into it and how you're treating it and what you're surrounding it and who you're surrounding it with because that affects you too. Are you avoiding your dreams? Are you stepping away from what it is, you know, your body's going to tell you? Use your body as the channel it's meant to be, as a, as a, a temple, but it's also meant to show you what's good and what's not good for you. So how your body reacts is everything. Um, the more you focus on the perfect and divine health and wholeness, the more that will become the truth for you. And the more you focus on moving towards peace and the angels and God and divine order, the more health will become the peace, the, the, the truth for you, the more that will all fall into place. Now, the reason I love this card so much that in the first rehearsal of this reading, I noticed that both angels are carrying a harp. Let me show you. There's the harp and there's the harp. Now, harps are associated with the angels, obviously, but I feel like there's a message because we've had synchronistically two cards with an angel carrying a harp, a harp. And maybe it's to do with music and sound and um, using tones to help to attune your energy, to raise your vibration, to bring you to a higher level so you can do your manifesting and you can create what it is that you want. Maybe, you know, listening to music is going to help you in, in many ways. Choose your music wisely. Maybe, and as I'm saying this, I can feel the angelic energy coming in. So not just Archangel Michael, I feel us, us surrounded by divine beings of light. These beautiful, beautiful guardian angels are gathering you closer. And they're really asking you to make your connection with them. To, to step in closer, to keep asking for their help and to allow your psychic and intuitive channels of seeing, hearing, sensing, knowing, using the mind to open fully to their presence and to ask for their presence. I feel like there's something really magical coming. I'm going to look up the meaning of, of harp too just to, um, you know, to find out what if there's any deeper meaning of having both of these. But I keep hearing the word harmony. So if it's not in harmony with who you are and what you, you want and what you're doing, then let it go. Because drama doesn't lead you to happiness and peace. Drama leads to more drama. The path of unhappiness doesn't lead to happiness, except for the fact that it teaches you what you do want rather than what you don't want. But you can't directly go there. You've got to choose a path of harmony to create the harmony that you want in your life. So harmonizing and choosing situations and people and foods and everything that harmonizes with you rather than stepping away from that and being a people pleaser or trying to change yourself for other people. Be who you are and everything will fall into place for you. So thank you so much for, for watching and listening. I really do appreciate your comments. So please comment below this so that I know if it resonated with you, if it made sense to you. If um, for some reason it, it's helped you in some way, let us know because uh, it's really, you know, it's meaningful for me and it encourages me to keep going with these videos. 
Um, if you would like to book a session with me, I do Skype sessions. I do uh, for healing and intuitive guidance. I also, it's, it's similar to intuitive coaching with energy therapy. So we can help you on any subject whatsoever. I also do angel um, readings, um, just like this, really. I just talk into a voice recorder and send you the file. Um, you can send me the questions based on any area of your life, and I will talk to the angels. I will look at your energy, and I will even do some healing for you if, if that's what you need. Um, or both are available on my website. It's about transforming your energy, and it's about now is the time to step into your true power, to know who you are, to find the situations and people, the vibrations that fit for you so that you can fully be present for what is in store and what is coming and what it is that you really deserve. If you're coming down here and you know, you know what you want is up here, then the angels can help you to raise your energy so that, and to, to know which direction to take. So from my heart to yours, thank you so much. Angel blessings. My website's rachelskoltalk.com. Loads going on at the moment, but I'll talk about that later and I'll see you next week. Have a great week.